question number 11. Bai Chung's father is 26 years younger than Bai Chung's grandfather and 29 years older than Bai Chung. The sum of the ages of all the three is 135 years. What is the age of each of them? While reading this question, it appears to be a complex one. But in actual, when we understand, the problem is very simple. So let's try to understand the same. We have one individual named as Bai Chung and he has a father. Also, the question talks about grandfather. So there are three individuals involved or there are three generations involved. The same has been represented rhetorically here. This is a kid. Let's assume Bai Chung and he has a father and Bai Chung also has a grandfather. So the questions asks to find their individual age and in order to find the ages, there are certain hints given which are as follows. Bai Chung's father is 26 years younger than Bai Chung's grandfather. It says that this guy's father, he is 26 years younger than this old man. That means this old man is 26 years older than his son. That is Bai Chung's father. Here and means that Bai Chung's father is 29 years older than Bai Chung. That is son and father's age difference is 29 years. That means Bai Chung is 29 years smaller than his father. This all information we get from this first line. So try to break the statement so that you get each information correctly. And another statement is simple. That is the sum of ages of all threes is 135 years. That is if we add Bai Chung's age, his father's age and his grandfather's age that will give us 135 years. So let's dive into the solution because we are given every statement in terms of Bai Chung's father. So let's assume his age to be A years. Why A? Because A represents age and its initial letter we have taken as our variable because variables are considered with small letter. So we have represented tabular form in order to write down the information that is provided to us. So here we have made four columns. This column is for Sun, that is for Bai Chung. Here we have considered father's age, that is Bai Chung's father age. And here we have considered grandfather's age, that is Bai Chung's grandfather age. And obviously last is the sum. Why sum? Because we have to reach this second statement here. So we are talking about present ages. Remember here we don't have a factor problem because no ratio is provided to us. Factors come in consideration while we solve ratio related problem in simple equations in one variable. But it is straightforward problem. We have to just find ages. Therefore in father column we write A because we have assumed father's present age to be A. By father we mean Bai Chung's father that is this middle generation. We have assumed it to be A years. Then what would be grandfather's age? Well, it would be A plus 26 because this grandfather is 26 years more than his son. That is Bai Chung's father. We get this information from first line. That is Bai Chung's father is 26 years younger than Bai Chung's grandfather. It indirectly means that this grandfather is 26 years older than his son. Therefore, we wrote A plus 26. And what would be sons? That is Bai Chung's age, it is given here, 29 years older than Bai Chung. It indirectly means that Bai Chung is 29 years younger. That would be whatever his father's age is, it would be minus 29, that is A minus 29. So with this, we have represented their individual ages in terms of Bai Chung's father age. Because every statement was given to us in terms of Bai Chung's father. That's why we considered his age as A years. Although we could solve it by considering any of them and in order to reach the second statement, we have to add it up, which we will write in given part. So the sum of ages of all of three is 135 years. We are just writing second statement in terms of mathematical equation and A minus 29 as it is plus A plus A plus 26 equals 135. We are not writing units. We will straight away write in the answer part. Nothing written prior to this A means it is positive and its coefficient is 1. So we have 1A, 
2a 3a that's why we wrote 3a and here plus minus it will get subtracted up and sign will come of greater number when we subtract them both 29 minus 26 gives us 3 and sign comes of greater number that is negative in this case therefore it came minus 3 equals 135 as it is so we are going to separate this variable a on left hand side therefore we have to get rid of this minus 3 we can transpose it towards right hand side it is negative here on left hand side it will become positive there so 3a as it is equal 135 plus 3 3a as it is equals to 135 plus 3 is 138 cancelling opportunity is it divisible with 3 let's check its divisibility rule so we add them up 8 plus 1 is 9 9 plus 3 is 12 yes it will be divisible by 3 because 12 is divisible by 3 so we straight away divided it, it up with 3 1 3 is a 3 3 4 is a 12 1 is remainder it becomes 18 3 6 are 18 so we have separated a and its value came as 46 and what we have assumed a for it was Bai Chung's father age so we straight away got his age that is his present age or current age that is 46 years and the question was asking what is the age of each of them so we have found father's age and we wrote it Bai Chung's father's age is 46 years that is this middle generation now let's try to find Bai Chung's age that would be 29 years less than 46 so Bai Chung's age is 17 years because 46 minus 29 gives you 17 years the same we are writing below this is written afterwards when we found the answer so 46 for father and 17 for son that is Bai Chung and the same has been written in statement form at last we have to find grandfather's age so it would be 26 years more than father's age that is Bai Chung's father is 46 year old when you add 46 plus 26 you get 72 and we wrote the same here also in statement form Bai Chung's grandfather's age equals 72 years so in this way we found age of each of them and this was very simple question only the problem was the problem itself that is the statements were a bit confusing they were written indirectly you have to first think in terms of your own family or just make the question as your own problem and then try to solve it always try to visualize the problem in that way our understanding becomes very clear and we find the answer very easily because after all mathematics is just solving your day-to-day -day problems in this way we have completed our question number 11th.